Welding Tips for Beginners Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope everything is going well for you. I want to share with you an amazing video I've created about welding basics. If you are a new or beginner welder, make sure you watch this video. We will teach beginners how to weld, but everyone who walks through our door has no idea what welding is. Welding involves the liquefaction of metal with heat, and then the metal is fused together. A MIG system, a stick system, and a TIG system are all common methods of doing this. To begin, let's review all three processes before launching into the next step. Taking each process one at a time, let's look at their common characteristics. Okay, so welding has three basic elements. To shield gases or fluxes from the heat, you need a heat source, a filler metal, and shielding gas. So let's discuss MIG welding. The electrode in MIG welding is the filler metal, which is on a spool of wire, and shielding gas is also used. Advantages of MIG welding. The advantages of this would be that it'll be much easier to learn because you'll be able to present all your parameters. It'll be much cleaner since there won't be any slag and you can hit a wide range of metal thicknesses. This is a great process to use if you're in a garage or shop. Now let's talk about stick welding. Because stick welding is a flux-based process, it works well outside, never gets affected by wind, and can also weld thicker metal. Advantages It's also easier to work on dirty metal, such as farm equipment or gates or even in your driveway because it doesn't get affected by rust and debris as much as other processes. Disadvantages Stick welding has the disadvantage of causing a great deal of spatter, vapor, off-gassing, and fumes, so you probably don't want to do it too much indoors. As for the weld itself, if you're working on automotive frame mounts, it's not the most beautiful or cleanest. When you are working on frame, you will either use MIG or TIG welding, a few of the advantages of TIG welding are that you're gonna get the highest quality weld as well as a more aesthetically pleasing bead. It works well on thin metals as well, but it's hard to control since you must control all three elements at once. You are controlling the heat with your leg, controlling the deposition rate with your opposite hand, and creating the arc with your non-consumable tungsten electrode as you move through the bead. The TIG welding process is considerably slower, so usually you're going to be working on things like a bike frame, sheet metal for an automobile, or something like that when you're doing TIG welding. It's time to talk about what you're going to do now that we have outlined each welding process advantages. Before doing any type of welding, you should keep these tips in mind. It is crucial to know the metal. It is essential for good welders to have some metallurgical knowledge, namely, the type of electrode and the type of metal they are welding with to understand how the final bead will behave. Selecting a current. Depending on the metal and electrode used, welders must use a specific current, AC or DC, to perform a welding beam. It is important to review the theory and practice on scraps with different settings after reviewing the theory. Relax your hand and remain calm. Having control over the weld pool and performing a good weld requires a good welder to relax the hand, especially the wrist, rather than gripping the gun or the stinger too tightly. Making the arc. It can be so difficult for beginners to strike the arc. The welding arc should be struck exactly at the beginning of the welding bead, performing it outside the weld joint, on a table, or on scrap material is a common and big technical beginner's mistake. Slag removal. Another major mistake beginners make is not removing the slag from the weld, resulting in a very brittle weld, and a weld that is covered in slag, making it difficult to judge the consistency of the underlying weld. Make sure it's clean. If the impurities, grease, rust, oil, rust, are not removed from the weld joint, the weld can become contaminated. Welding Mentorship It is very important to train in the welding sector, and repeating exercises in welding is very efficient if you want to automate the basic processes, but having an experienced welder by your side really enhances the process. 
The Welding Mentor can provide advice that might help you reach the next level in this sector. Experience is key in this industry. Wear the proper safety equipment to protect yourself. Newcomers as well as experienced welders can be at risk when welding. You should always be vigilant when welding and use the appropriate safety equipment based on the situation. Make sure all the equipment is in good working order and that everyone around you, especially you, is safe. Choose the welding process you want to learn first. The welding training process can be very complex if we consider the various processes, positions, techniques, and materials available. To succeed, you need to go step by step. Choose the process you want to learn first and focus on it until you become proficient in it before moving on to the next process. There is still a long way to go. Most of our viewers who come up to us asking for advice about welding are worried about choosing a welder. As for what you'll be doing most, obviously, it depends on what you're gonna be doing. For instance, if you're working outdoors most of the time on farm equipment, you'll want a stick welder for thicker metals and dirtier surfaces. You should use tungsten inert gas welding if you're working on thin metals, HVAC, or if you're doing frame outs. You're probably going to want MIG welding if you're going to be working indoors and you want a wider range. Let's discuss what metals are suitable for each process a bit more specifically. Steel, stainless steel, and aluminum alloys are typically welded with MIG steel, stainless steel, and cast iron can all be welded with the stick. Tungsten inert gas welding, on the other hand, covers pretty much everything. Any metal that conducts electricity can be welded such as steel, stainless steel, aluminum, copper, brass, chromoly, and exotic metals such as magnesium and titanium. Thank you for watching this video and we hope you enjoyed it. This series offers several other videos that are worth watching, so we highly recommend you watch them all. You can purchase a welder based on your needs. Please visit our channel if you are looking for more educational videos you can grow your welding knowledge with our entire library of learning tutorial videos. Stay blessed and keep moving.